This is probably one of the most unique places on earth that you can find. This place houses about 20 of some of the nation's biggest parade floats, from presidential inaugurals to Terminal Roses to Miss America pageant. These parade floats behind me are huge. This building is 40,000 square feet, which is a big closet. We just happen to unlock the closet door and let people come in and see it. I'm Joe Proctor. I am Vice President and General Manager of American Celebration on Parade. All of us have seen parades on television, but you don't get the perspective of the size of these parade floats. I want people to walk into the building and see these parade floats and say, wow. As I get a little bit closer, you start getting the idea of how big these parade floats are. This eagle is over 29 feet tall. This particular limousine is over 30 feet long. It's over 60 feet long. Well, this was actually just a part of the parade float. And while she was going down the street, she actually revolved and her hands went out over the top of the crowd. That's how big it is. A lot of people think that floats are made of just styrofoam and sticks and wood and put together very quickly, but the structures are made of steel, so these floats weigh tons. Many of them would be covered with live flowers or possibly dried flowers to give the different colors and textures depending on what the client was looking for. You have uh, palm branches, dried beans, ground coffee. Also, we use five gallon, 10 gallon buckets of glitter. What better way to make people smile than lots of glitter and sparkle? Everything in here has some sort of historical history. This was actually a recreation of the Santa Maria, but got converted to a pirate ship at the request of Disney when the Pirates of the Caribbean movies were in full swing. This is my favorite float, the U.S. flag that was used in President Ronald Reagan's inauguration. This particular seal was created and used for President Obama's inauguration. This came from the Tournament of Roses parade about 10 years ago. There's actually about eight parade floats that went together to make King Neptune. These parade floats were built to go through a parade and to last for two hours. We are asking these floats to be on a permanent display. You can't let these things run constantly all day long or they'd be wore out completely. We have connected electric motors to them and that's part of the fun. The kids have the control to power that giant float by pushing that little red button. It's fun. No one celebrates parades and no one celebrates our history the way America does. I want people to take that home with them and understand that uh, this is how America celebrates who we are.